In this video, you'll find out what a refrigerator and editing meshes in Blender using Python have in common. Also, you're gonna learn about one of the Python features that I didn't wanna learn and master for a long time. All right, let's hop on over to Blender into the scripting workspace. And we have two scripts right here that just add a bevel to uh, the cube or any selected object. Now, one of these scripts works in object mode and the other one works in edit mode. Now let's go ahead and run the one that is for object mode. Just run it and take a closer look. You can see that bevel was applied to this cube just by running that particular script. Let me undo that. And let's go into edit mode now and run the other script. And you can see that uh, it also applied the bevel to this particular cube. All right. Now, if you want any details on how we created the script, I went over that in a separate video. I'll leave a link in the description. Now, you can see that there's a lot of common in between these two scripts. Now, the main part of these scripts is right here where we call the bevel operator. We call it right here in this script and right here in the other script. Now, everything that happens before that is like boilerplate that we need to write to make sure that everything's correctly edited, right? And at the end, we are finally like finishing up, cleaning up and applying our changes back to the mesh. Now, here's where the refrigerator analogy comes in. And it's that when you wanna get something from the refrigerator or maybe put something back into it, you need to first open the refrigerator door, right? And take something out or put something back in and then not forget to close that refrigerator door. Now, for example, if you forget to close that door, that means that you might end up with a broken refrigerator refrigerator. These are simple steps to follow, but you always want to follow them to get the result that you want. Now, similar here with mesh editing, you want to do the setup first, then do your operation, and then do the final commands that apply your edits. Usually to improve the organization of our code, we use functions and group the code that is repeated multiple times in a function. Now, this case is a bit tricky where the middle of the function would be different depending on the context we're using it in. The beginning part and the end will always stay the same and and we always want to make sure we go through these steps each single time we edit a mesh. And here's where the feature I was talking about comes in. It's called context managers. And what this will allow us to do is to run some code before something, then do our operations, and then run some code after we're done with our operation. Let me update the code and show you how this looks. I'm going to go ahead and take the version where we're working with the object mode version. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, actually, I'm gonna move this to the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it all the way down right here. I'm gonna go ahead and indent all that. I'm gonna create a new function and call it get vmesh. And I'm gonna pass in the mesh object right here. And this right here, I'm gonna cut that. Uh, and then I'm gonna add a comment. So something will happen here. I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna leave that as is for now. Now, so this would, this is what a usual function would look like, right? Nothing special. But the thing is that we will be repeating this and this, but we won't be repeating this. So this might be different. Maybe we want to inset. We Maybe we want to remove duplicate vertices or any other B-mesh editing operation you want to perform. Now we can transform this function into a context manager by using a special decorator. Let's first import the context lib. And this is the module that allows us to create context managers. Now, the next thing that we need to do is we need to decorate this particular function. Now, if you don't know what a decorator is, don't worry. It's just something that tells Python that this is not a regular function. And just think of it as adding extra functionality to the function. All right, so I'm gonna add the decorator. So this line right here, where we're using that module, right? And then saying that this is a context manager. Now to make this context manager work, we need to return this bmesh. Now, from a usual function, we would usually use the return statement, but in a context manager, we would use something a bit different, and that's the yield statement, like that. And this particular statement will allow us to basically pause the execution of this function uh, until we're done with uh, our operations, so whatever we're doing uh, when we're using this context manager. Now, let me go ahead and update call site, like where we're gonna be using this context manager. And to use it, we'll need to use the with statement and then call our context manager like that, and then use as, and then I'm gonna use the bm, and this is what we're returning. Again, the, this, is, this is what this will be. This could be any name you want. It's similar to variables, and I'm just using the same thing just to keep things simple. And now this will go, go ahead and be used right here in our bevel operation. Notice that this is similar to a function or if statement or for loop right this is indented so uh this should be indented like so so 
it makes a like code block that the context manager actually uses. So the way that the context manager works is it first, as soon as we get the execution, so we're executing this line by line, right? Python's uh, interpreting it. And as soon as it gets right here, it will jump into this context manager, execute up until, up, up until here, then yield and return this BM right here. And then we're gonna do everything we want right here in this particular block. It doesn't have to be only one statement. You can do a bunch of statements, a bunch of editing, anything you like. And then as soon as we exit this code block, as soon as we like get to right here, we'll jump back into this context manager and execute the final part of this. And this remember is updating the normals, applying the B mesh to the mesh data of our object, updating this in the scene so we can see the results and then freeing the B mesh, doing some cleanup right here. Okay, now fingers crossed that I didn't forget anything here. I think everything should work just as I run the script and let's go ahead and run the script. And look at that, this works. You could hide all this into a separate file, into a separate module. I'll show you this closer to the end of this video. So stick around for that. So all of this is now hidden. And now you can just use this right here and it will have and it will handle all the boilerplate that happens before and after working with a BMesh. Now we have this other script right here, which is the edit mode. And I challenge you to pause the video and try to refactor, try to update this code in a similar way as I did with the previous code on your own, right? So pause the video now and try it on your own. All right, and here is how I would have done it. It's basically the same thing I just moved. Uh, the single call from edit mesh and then update edit mesh right here. And now this is ready to work in edit mode. Let's go ahead and put that cube into edit mode and run this script. And you can see that it still works here as well. But you know what? The script is running instantly and we can't really see how it's working. Let's jump into VS Code and I'll show you step by step. So we're going to slow down the execution, just pause it and go step by step and see how it's going line by line. Okay, I'm in VS Code and I'm using the Blender development extension that allows me to run my scripts inside of Blender, but work on my scripts in VS Code. And I have a separate video explaining how you can set this up for yourself. I'm gonna go ahead and put a breakpoint right here at the beginning of our context manager, right here. Oh, after we're done editing, put a breakpoint here and here as well. So this is gonna be the very first break breakpoint that we hit. Uh, it's gonna be basically the start of our script. Uh, then we'll uh, then let's just step on through and see how it looks. I'm gonna go ahead and run the script. And you can see straight away, we're hitting this line right here. So this is the first line that we're executing. It's getting a reference to the active object. I'm gonna go ahead and do one step. And now we're here right at the context manager. Now we're gonna go ahead and step one more time. And you can see it goes into this context manager. I'm gonna step one more and gets the mesh data and creates the B mesh representation. We're gonna go into the yield and now watch what happens. So this is where Python is executing right now. I am gonna take one more step and we're gonna jump right into the body of this context manager. So now we're gonna be executing the operations. We're gonna execute this. I'm gonna step one more time. It's gonna go and it's gonna end up right here, finishing up and running the code that is after the yield statement. And right, I'm just gonna go step, step, step. And look at that, the cube was updated in the viewport. I hope that this was a nice visual representation of what was going on. Highly recommend to do this on your own, right? Set up VS Code and run the script and step through it as I just did to really grasp how this feature works. And if you're learning something new and enjoying this tutorial, make sure to hit the like button. I'll greatly appreciate it. Okay, I have one more challenge for you and that is you need to merge these two versions. So I wanna get a context manager that will be able to run in edit mode and object mode. I'm gonna give you one hint, and that is how you can figure out which mode the object is currently in. I'm gonna go into the interactive Python console right here and then type in BPY context and then mode. And you can see that we're now in object mode. The cube is in object mode right here. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to edit mode and I'm gonna press the up arrow to repeat the command, run that again, and look, that is in edit mode. There's a hint for you. So this is how you can understand which mode you're in. Okay, and go ahead and pause the video now and try this on your own. Okay, and this is how I did it. I created a special uh, class right here. You don't really need to do this, but I did it uh, just to make sure that I don't do any typos because I love doing some typos in strings and other things. So I usually use a class like this, make sure this edit mesh, wherever I'm using it, it's gonna stay the same. So the spelling is not, is not messed up. In the context manager, I'm checking what mode we're in. And in particular, I'm checking if this 
is in object mode, then do uh, these two statements right here. And if this is in edit mode, then do this, right? Then we yield, do our bevel or whatever operation we want. Then we go back, update the normals. Again, if we're in edit mode, we update the edit mesh. If we're in object mode, do these two statements right here. And then we finally free up our B mesh right down here. Now, honestly, I'm not a huge fan of this particular implementation. And I actually have a, another implementation that I, I'm a bit hesitant to show you because it's more advanced. And this particular video is already a bit more complex than I like. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see the more advanced version and I'll share it in another video for you. Let's go ahead and check that this actually works. The cube right here is in edit mode and let's check if it works. I'm going to go ahead and run the script and okay it works in edit mode let's go ahead and go into edit mode so i'm undoing the operation just reusing that same cube i'm going to run that script and it works in object mode as well and we can take this one step further and that is hiding all this code right here into a separate module our own custom module i'm going to go ahead and select all this code then copy it and i'll put it into a separate file call it bmesh utilities i'm going to import that new module like so so import bmesh utils uh, and then i'm going to use that like that and i'm going to reload the scripts system reload script and now that we have that code hidden away in this single module right here you can see how we can start reusing this everywhere we need it and we'll have all the boilerplate executing in the right order and applying the edits to our meshes okay let's go ahead and run that and you can see this code still works even with that code in a separate module. And now that we have context managers in our toolbox, let's go ahead and continue learning about B meshes, how you can create a mesh from scratch, how to iterate over the vertices, faces, and edges, how to select them and find what is selected. I'll cover all that in this video right here. So make sure to check it out. Thanks for watching.